Welcome to the Design It 8 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working within the Stitch Designer section of the program shown here in pink, one of the five main sections of Design It 8. We'll be looking at the yarn color palette, which is how we set up our colors for our pattern design. I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to pick up a couple of colors just so that we have a couple of colors in our sample. Let's pick yellow, have a green, and let's say purple. Okay, kind of a avant-garde pattern, but it works. Palette. We can get into our palette by saying palette yarn color setup. We can get into our palette by, I didn't turn my brush off. We can get into our palette with this icon right here if this box is closed. We can also use this yarn color setup icon as well. So this brings up the yarn color setup window. The first thing that we can do is to add a color by clicking on one of the empty boxes here and then we write and it brings up a sample and the sample is blue but we use this color picker box to pick a red and then we use the slider to pick an intensity that we want. I'm going to say that I want this one to be pink. And then we apply the color and now it's in the box. I want to say duplicate this color and it's put it in the next box down and I want to keep it the exact same color except I want to make it a little bit darker, apply the color. So now these are both the same color family and that was easy to do. If I want to take an existing color, here I have four shades of gray, four shades of purple, four shades of blue, etc. Just like we were doing with our two shades here. If I want to change this gray here, I click on it once, it puts it up in the sample box, and then I can change it to whatever color I want. Let's pick a nice bright green, Kelly green. Apply color, and now I have green in my box. I can move these around anywhere I want and I can say pack and I will put them in the order that I've moved them around. I can make an assortment of colors in a color family by let's pick this dark peach and put it down here and then say narrow range and then click here and it's given me a range of colors in the same family down to this clear box. Let's do this again except this time let's use yellow and let's use a medium blue. This time I'm going to click on this one as the active one, narrow range, and then this one. And it has made colors going from left to right, the same as going from left yellow through green, through the light blue, and into the dark blue. The same thing sliding across the color picker this way for the narrow range. If I want to do the wide range, it goes like this and around wraps around and back around this way. It goes the wide way around this color picker box. So it would go blue, purple, 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 and then red and then yellow. And we can try that. We can say delete unused colors. These are the five colors in our design that we have right here. Pack these colors together. I can move them around if I want them in a certain or pack them again. Maybe I want them to be in the same order that I have in my color changer. I can say you can design custom palettes to match the yarns that you're going to be using in your garment by using some of these shading tools and picking the colors. And this little tiny box turns on and off whether these right here whether they're opaque or transparent, but they're very hard to see, so I haven't used that one that much. Let's say OK to continue, and now I have a much smaller wool box of just the colors that I'm working in, and this makes it a lot easier to see. So we're ready to start designing. Thank you.